It is one of the deadliest creatures in the world. It carries a threat to half of the world's population. Attacks at night while victims sleep. One million people killed a year. 2,000 children every day. Just by being bit, a parasite enters the body. Infection takes over. Red blood cells, rupture, chills, fever, vomiting, coma, death. And this deadly creature can be stopped with a simple bed. All across the Church of God of Prophecy, the word is spreading that we, the Church of God of Prophecy, are joining the war on malaria. The Pentecostal churches of North America have been challenged to participate in this great war against the deadliest predator in the world. That's right. Several, several months ago, I did not realize that malaria was the greatest killer of any killer, any disease in the world. Nearly 2,000 people die of malaria every single day. And the saddest part of that news is that 86% of those are children below the age of five. And the sadder part of that news is that it is preventable. It is absolutely stoppable. There is a cure for malaria and there is a way to prevent these children from dying of that disease and this greatest predator on earth. Simply buying a $6 net for their bed places at least two children under that net and protects them from the mosquito of malaria that only bites in the nighttime and rescues their lives from this dangerous disease. So the Church of God of Prophecy is joining with our Pentecostal neighbors all around North America. And on April 28th, the Sunday, April 28th, we are calling it War on Malaria Sunday, and we are raising a grand offering to contribute to rescue these children from perishing all across malaria zones in Africa, Asia, Latin America, and around the world. There are three significant reasons that I believe the Church of God of Prophecy ought to be a participant in this great effort of Pentecostal churches around North America. Number one, our vision statement has a little phrase in it. It says that we will be a people with a passion for Christian union. Many of you know that that phrase comes right out of the first assembly, right out of the hills of North Carolina, right out of our DNA in our beginning, that we were a people with a passion for Christian union. Here is an opportunity to express that passion, Christian union, Christians uniting, Pentecostal churches joining together for one cause, one call, for one offering that we will help rescue children. Secondly, I would like to see us participate in this great call because throughout Christian history, it has been Christians who have built the hospitals. It's been Christians who come to the aid of the needy. It has been Christians who express their compassion in society and in culture all through the centuries. It's been the Christians who respond to the great needs of human trauma in life. And today we have an opportunity to stamp out the greatest killer on earth as we contribute in the war on malaria. Third reason that I believe is so significant, our young generation loves to participate in needs that deal with human suffering, that deal with serving humanity. I'd like for us to call out to our young generation and say, join us. Let's reach out for this great cause. Let's serve needs of these suffering children that are dying. Let's mobilize them. Let's release them. Let's tap what is in their heart. They love to serve and they love the human cause. And we want to activate that in the Church of God of Prophecy. So yes, this April 28th, we will be participating in the War on Malaria Sunday. And I'd like to invite you as a part of the Church of God of Prophecy, as a local church, as a pastor, as a leader, would you consider, listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit drawing you into this great humanitarian cause. I believe that God will bless us and bless our churches as we give for a cause that is not about us at all, as we give to a cause that's not going to build our buildings or to promote our name, as we give to the war on Malaria Sunday on April 28th. I believe God's going to bless our churches as well as we give to the hurting, the needing, and the dying. God bless you.